What do you need? What's your story, Ephra? You're not getting my personnel file. I'd just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance when I go to sleep. That's a hell of a burden. Enough personal discussion. I hope the Initiative is making a good impression. The Initiative? <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening, like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say, at first. We're not invaders. Of course. What do you think of your governor? She governs Aya, not the Resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a... spirited argument. You respect her. She holds her own. Not many do. There's no official Angaran military, just the Resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Ket mostly. The rest fell to... internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized. Poorly supplied. Leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the Resistance real. How is the Resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. How'd you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. What success have you had against the Ket? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not resistance? Aya police. Purely ornamental. Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the resistance will handle it. That's up to the governor, isn't it? <laughs> You've been fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ket aren't a conventional enemy. Any idea where they came from? A, a homeworld somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ket ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. Do the Ket have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly, almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. The Ket aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. Treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion, it's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. I'll let you get back to it. Good. <laughs>